The Extract PE trial was the first prospective study of the indigo aspiration system for acute pulmonary embolism. It's, the rationale for doing this study was that up to this point there had been no prospectively collected data on this new but promising device. Um, Catheter-directed thrombolysis, systemic thrombolysis, they both carry the risk of bleeding and the inconvenience of having to drip a patient with TPA over the course of time. So the appeal of a device like the Indigo catheter is that it can remove clot on the table. So that needs to be prospectively studied and that was the purpose of the Extract PE study. The main efficacy endpoint was the RV to LV ratio uh, reduction uh, following the uh, use of the indigo aspiration catheter compared to baseline. And that the main result was that there was a 27% RV to LV ratio reduction, which met the efficacy endpoint that was pre-specified. The primary safety endpoint was major adverse events within the first 48 hours. The rate of major adverse events was 1.7%, which was below the threshold for safety that was pre-established as well. So I think that this was an important first study, that the RV to LV ratio reduction has always been a surrogate marker of efficacy, and it has been the uh, tried and true outcome for FDA approval for efficacy. But really the purpose of the study, in my mind, was to establish the safety of this device, which I think it did demonstrate very good safety. Now, going forward, we have to, as a scientific PE community, go beyond the RV to LV ratio. We need to look at clinical outcomes, we need to randomize patients, and we need rigorous study to determine whether therapies like aspiration through this catheter is the right thing to routinely do for patients with intermediate risk or submassive pulmonary embolism. The data tells us that this is another tool in our toolbox to remove thrombus quickly uh, in patients who need thrombus removal. So when we look at patients that have proximal thrombus and a submassive PE, this is a possibility if they meet the existing criteria for thrombus removal. I think that to know exactly which patients we should be doing this in definitely requires further study, not just with this device, but in general looking at a randomized trial, which tries to evaluate whether clot removal in submassive PE is the right thing to do, and if so, in whom.